the services had pretty well uh, stopped drafting. So it was quite a surprise when I got a draft notice and uh, was drafted in December of 1955. Yeah. And uh, we were in our boot company at Great Lakes. There were 23 of us who were college graduates, uh, had been drafted into the Navy. And uh, believe me, we weren't the, the ideal recruits. My name is Ron Thompson. I'm currently a volunteer here on the USS Yorktown in Mount Pleasant. I served aboard an aircraft carrier when I was in the Navy from 1955 to 1957. It was USS Boxer, CVS-21. Uh, it was an attack carrier, a CVA. They converted it to anti-submarine CVS. And if it's a light carrier, it's CVL. If it's escort carrier, it's CVE. We weren't shooting at anybody, and nobody was shooting at us. Our mission was to patrol the uh, Western Pacific and the Sea of Japan. We were on anti-submarine warfare training. Oh, the uh, summer of uh, 1957, we were in Hong Kong on a little R&R, &R, a little rest and relaxation. The Suez crisis broke out in 1957, and they ended our liberty in that port immediately and sent us on uh, going south towards the, uh, uh, the Indian Ocean. Uh, they changed their mind and sent us back up to the Sea of Japan, and we spent weeks patrolling we were supposedly looking for any Russian submarines that might be making an attempt to come through the Formosa Straits. We didn't see any submarines. However, we were at sea for probably three, almost three, four weeks. We ran out of fresh food. And those ships at that time only carried enough fresh food for about two and a half weeks. Well, that's when they broke out those delicacies, canned Spam powdered eggs, powdered milk. Believe me, I don't look like it, but I, I survived on peanut butter and soda crackers. Anyway, we got back into Yokosuka, Japan, and I had a steak with a couple of eggs on top of it, french fries, salad, the whole works for two bucks. Unbelievable today. Uh, looking back on it, it's, it certainly was an experience one which uh, I'll never forget, and I still hold a lot of admiration for all of our military people. 